So I'm replacing the sunroof headliner here on my 99 Civic. Uh, you can tell, pretty worn out. I uh, found a place that will just recover it with hopefully the same color. But yeah, I've got to get it out and take it to them. So start taking it out. First thing I'm going to remove is, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a plastic piece here with a single screw. And then this piece slide back, back and then out. So there's a tab there, that tab. And that tab is right on that piece. So we'll do that for both sides. Then the next thing there will be is a 10 millimeter nut here and a 10 millimeter nut here. And that's on both sides there and there. You remove those. There are spacers, which I'll show you once I get this off. There are spacers that you'll need to remember where they are in what order, uh, I guess, to keep it level. Got all the bolts out and I've cracked the sunroof a little bit. Make it a little easier. Don't have to fight that weather strip as much. And should be able to just pop this out. Just like that. So as you can tell, mine has two spacers on the back here, one here, and it looks like one in the back on that side, none on the front. Just remember where those are. That one feels pretty stuck. And I'll move that one just off to the side. The next thing is gonna be this extra little weather weather strip piece here. Two Phillips screws, you got one right there, and then one right there, and then it'll all slide off. So there's two ways you can either remove these through screws, pick this up, or what I think is easier, just lower this back down. Now with these lowered back down, I can just pull this right out. After that, the last piece is just getting this headliner off. Easiest way I've found is just remove this nut and then remove this piece. And there's a nut there. If you remove both of these, you can kind of slide this track over and let this sunroof cover slide out a little easier. So these are both 10 millimeter. This is really all you need is Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter. So with both of those removed, I'll take this little bracket out here, just on the right side. And then I'll pick the track up just a little, slide it over as far as I can. And then this should just kind of slide. Should just slide out like that. So as you can tell, that's pretty nasty. Uh, faded, scratched, just falling apart. Same with the backside. So I'm gonna take this to a place uh, who said they can do it. I think it's somewhere around, I don't know, 50-ish dollars. So yeah, we'll see what they, what it looks like. Just got back from the upholstery shop. Big difference, as you can tell there. Now I'll just go do everything backwards. So we'll start with this bracket. I'll pick this up, move it back over. I've got one side on, kind of work the other side here. See how it looks from under. It's a little tight. Thinking that could be just from the new, the new cover that's on it. Right. The next thing is this plate here. Just work that right in. Like that. Yeah, two Phillips screws. All right, I think we're ready to grab the glass. Put those back. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up a little bit.
take and try to line up these holes. Got one side on, now to the other side. That one's on. Got all four. Now it's time to put the nuts back in. Those are tight. So next thing is going to be these little plastic pieces. We're gonna make sure you put the tab there, right where that extra tab is, right there. So I'll kind of slide it in, and then slide back, and then forward. And there's a Phillips that goes right back in there. Do that on the other side, and that'll be it. Everything's buttoned up. Uh, let's take a look. I'd say it looks pretty close. Uh, a lot better than it did before. That's how easy it is. Just really two tools, 10 millimeter and Phillips screwdriver, and probably about 30, 45 minutes.